Hi Pisces, welcome to your September How They Feel, and that's smooth in Love Messages Tarot Reading. This is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're looking at your person, no matter your situation, circumstance, whatever's going on. We're going to look at how they're truly feeling about the situation, whatever that means for you, um, how they're feeling about you, how they're truly feeling about you, possible next moves towards you and what they want to tell you along with love messages. So this is for those who truly want to know. So if you want absolutely nothing to do with this person, that's probably not your reading. You can definitely, you know, just leave it for somebody else. But for those that are watching, hopefully it does resonate. Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and you definitely can flip switch reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to cross watchers as well could be a reading for you right Pis pisces <laughs> welcome in i hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time a big thank you to all your support is truly truly appreciated and i do love and appreciate all of you and i just want to say a big thank you all right so with these cards here we're going to get kind of the energy and see what's going on so we have awakening and we have two, which is choices, decisions, partnerships, and unities. Enlightenment. Wow. 43, seven. Seven, you know, is a divinely guided spiritual energy. Sometimes it can seem still stagnant, challenging, nothing's happening. The universe is kind of working its magic. Soul tree. So we have 21, which is a three, growth expansion. And inward revolution. Wow, 42 which is six, we've got 42, 43. So 42, 43, which would be six, seven, and then you have two, three, because 21 is three. Interesting. So this person, wow, talk about big time awakening. I mean, awakening, enlightenment, in inward revolution. That is a big awakening of the soul here. And we do have soul tree, which means they probably are being awakened to the soul connection here, which is starting to plant a seed in their heart, mind, body, and soul, and also the seed between the connection between you. Because we do have the world energy here. Somebody could be at a distance, um, but that soul tree is about planting that seed and, you know, letting the roots run deep. It could be past life, you know, stability foundation, and also growing and expanding. It's almost like I see the world energy here as that seed being planted and then it growing and then shooting up and then going right into this energy, which is the awakening energy into this person. And then having the awakening and the enlightenment and that inward revolution because of that seed that's been planted between the two of you. Interesting. All right, Pisces, so let's see what's going on. Let's see... What is going on? All right, Pisces. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there. List of readings I do here. My backup channel, I'm not currently uploading over there, but if you want to sub there, if you can't find me here, you'll find me there. All right, Pisces. So let's see. Get, let's see if we can get more. Oh, and I got a candle out. Okay. I don't have a spare candle on me right here. You know, I do like to have... Um, all my candles lit so let me just grab one for you so we're going to be taking a look here on um, Pisces about uh, seeing we get more information about the situation between you and how they're feeling about it and then we'll look at then how they're truly truly feeling about you what their next moves may be what they really want to tell you along with love messages so all right all right let's get to it Sorry, guys. All right, let's see, for Pisces. Sorry about the creaking chair. All right, if you can hear that. All right, let's see. Five of Pentacles and Temperance, wow. So Five of Pentacles is feeling that lack, that loneliness, the separation. Temperance is about alignment. So through maybe like a separation or a brief, brief time apart, I mean, it could have been them that did this or you or mutual. They are definitely becoming aligned with the energies. Temperance is a soulmate energy, soulmate alignment. You know, it's peace, harmony, joy, love, light, patience, past life, healing. Um, peace, harmony, joy, love, and light. So let's see. Wow, so we've got Sagittarius energy there. 
let's see. Knight of Cups. Let's get these all out here. We'll see what we need to know. So we got the Queen of Swords in reverse. So I feel like there wasn't a lot of clarity or community. Definitely could be in no communication right now. And the star is massive healing. So not only are they healing, they could have, you know, been King, Queen of Swords to me, I kind of like the divorce couple of the deck. So if I'm feeling for some of them, if they were divorced, they had a really hard time getting over that. Not so much the person. It's like the divorce itself for some reason. So maybe they felt like a failure. Maybe they felt like, you know, I made this commitment and, you know, I feel like I betrayed the universe or my commitment or, or I, I don't know. I'm just feeling like here, not so much the person, but the energy of committing to something and then it not working out. So they could be someone who really keeps their word, keep, keeps their commitments. So, I mean, especially when it's like written, you know, when you're married legally, you know, that's like a big contract. So they could, in a way, could have felt like a failure. But I do see here they were beginning to have feelings for you here with the Knight of Cups. And the star is, you know, massive healing. Faith, hope, optimism, extreme is coming true. Divinely guided energy, things meant to be, balance. So we have Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Sag. So this time apart from you, it's all aligning for them. Maybe they're doing their massive healing over, you know, feeling that way as well. If that makes sense. So, I mean, this may not be, I mean, it could be something recent, but... Um, Let's see, the star is Aquarius season, which was way back in January. This could have been like in the past year, maybe. All right, let's see. Ten of Swords is definitely a painful ending. Five of Cups. So it was getting over that sadness, loss, and grief. And the Seven of Wands, you know, letting down their guard, being more open and vulnerable. Judgment here, so they could be making a final decision. Also, it was something... Um, they had a hard time dis deciding over or letting go of the energy, but also this is about a final uh, judgment call and decision as well. And the King of Cups, they are Pisces. And the Queen of Wands, so definitely um, a lot of attraction towards you, but the King of Cups also is love and emotions, but sometimes they hide it or they're very reserved and they don't always like pronounce it. But there definitely was the chemistry and attraction here. Someone could be a business owner, entrepreneur, leader, very creative, inspirational, spiritual. All right, so let's see. So I feel like they're having their healing, their awakening, you know, getting over feeling maybe like a failure or feeling something to that effect. So they can't, you know, they do have feelings and attraction towards you and they're making this decision to let their walls down finally. But let's see how they're feeling about you. Let's see how they're feeling about you. Pisces, how are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about Pisces right now? What do we need to know? Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, they want to take their time. They don't want to rush Tower, but they're ready to make a big change here, but they don't want to rush either. Make a change, make a big change with you. But again, Knight of Pentacles, very smart, practical, wise, analytical. They don't rush, but they do cross the finish line. It's just very slow moving. And they also know it's been a long time coming for something to change between the two of you. Seven of Swords. They know they were avoiding running out of fear. Uh, there's been a lot of that energy. Five of Wands. Yeah, a lot of conflict and fear, running out of fear. But here's the balance with the Six of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like they're feeling more balanced towards you. They were very conflicted in the past and they're running away from you, like running out of fear, but they know they have to come in here. It's been a long time coming and make a big change in your connection. Something definitely crumbled down for them as well. Could have been unexpected, but let's see, we have Taurus, Aries. Ace of Cups. So they definitely had uh, the feelings of love towards you knight of swords well this could be something happening out of the blue and very fast king of pentacles in reverse definitely could be somebody who's divorced page of pentacles can be the offer but there's a lot of wondering here if the opportunity is still there as well so i mean they may know that you've been waiting or you know you were tired of this energy 
so they they're wondering kind of you know where it stands between the two of you but i do kind of see something coming in here page of pentacles definitely needs someone who has been divorced or something like that but they know they have to take action here for this love all right okay so let's see here um what's our next moves going to be what are there and i also kind of feel like um meeting you and starting to have feelings for you falling for you definitely was totally unexpected for them as well all right so let's see what their next moves could be towards you pisces the sudden reversed and the king of wands hmm. now the sudden reverse is not the happiest of energies but the king of wands does take the lead and charge go-getter kind of energy very attractive we've just seen that queen so there's definitely a couple here highly attracted to each other and they know they've been through an unhappy time they've still feeling a little uneasiness or unhappiness towards something but um and they know they need they know there needs to be enlightenment as well i mean we do have enlightenment right there four of wands nine of pentacles this person is definitely single if they were married they're single Seven of Wands reverse is good about letting down our guard, letting down our walls. So I do see them um, no, needing, the, need, they know they need to make, uh, they need, oh my God, I can't speak. This person isn't going to know what to say. And now my throat's getting itchy. So they need, they know they need to bring enlightenment. Okay, that's what I want to say. Because I don't feel like there's a lot of enlightenment right now. In this connection and still they're i think they're you know a little unhappy or sad um with the way things went for them in their life but also um i feel like they're holding back from you them holding back from you definitely they don't feel good about that either so but i do feel like they need they know they need to let down their walls and their guard here be open vulnerable and take lead and charge here so they could be maybe showing up at your home. I mean, just arrive at your home. I mean, the four of wands can be about the home. So we do have two cards of Leo here. May not be during the day. Maybe at night. The sun reverse could be at night. I kind of see someone like ring someone's bell or knocking on their door here. Let's see. Seven of cups. So there's a little, still a little confusion here. King of swords. Could be somebody divorced as well. Truth, clarity, communication needs to happen for this to manifest magician here page of wands again they may uh, send you a little message first uh, like a text or a uh, message of some sort and say I'm, I'm coming to see you it may just be direct like very blunt direct like I'm coming to see you and you're like what and there they are at your door hang hey, man so there definitely is a lot of stuck energy between you yeah they definitely could have struggled through some sort of marriage or something like that but they may tell you all about it i mean we do have um page of swords here so we do have the nine there which we are in september right now so something could be happening by the end of september so let's see about their more about their next moves towards you pisces let's see pisces next moves towards pisces Oh, the Ten of Cups. And we do have the home there. Happiness, joy, Ten of Wands. Yeah, so they've been through a lot of burdens here. Overwhelmed energy, two tens. Ace of Swords, yeah, there hasn't been a lot of clarity or communication. Three of Wands, so they're looking out to the future. Could be three days, three weeks. Eight of Wands. So I don't think this is going to be communication like right now. I do feel like something in maybe three days or three weeks. It's like they're holding back communicating to then for some reason maybe there's like one final thing they need to release first whatever that may be so that's why you know the communication may not be happening with the ace of swords in reverse here but i do see a happy outcome with the ten of cups you know that is completion in new beginnings which that would lead to the ace of cups which we did see so we've got two tens of endings here ten and ten is twenty which is two partnerships unities choices decisions eight and the three of ones subtract that you get the five of wands so there definitely could be one less conflicting thing they're going through um could be their own inner, uh, inner conflict as well so let's see page of cups could be the sincere romantic gesture apology 
Eight of Cups is the return. It's in reverse. The Hierophant and the Nine of Wands. They definitely struggle through something that they were committed to. I feel like whatever they were committed to in the past, there's someone that keeps their promise. So they struggled letting something they committed to go. And it definitely could be a negative person here. The Empress in reverse is not a great energy. But there's a true connection here. I think they're definitely hung up on you, Pisces. We do have the Hangman and the Lovers. So they're definitely hung up on you in this connection. But there's like a lot of other factors at play and I feel like it's their own integrity and ego and feeling like a failure and all these other things but I definitely feel like they're going through I mean they couldn't went through dark night of the soul spiritual awakening depression um the whole nine yards here all right so let's see what else they want to tell you so I feel like maybe something by the end of September going into October because we have two tens here Maybe within the next month or three weeks. I don't feel like right now, but um, let's see. Let's see what else they want to tell you for Pisces. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So definitely um, they don't want to put any more time and attention into things that are no longer serving them anymore. And they know they haven't been putting in the work into uh, the connection with you. The high priestess so they know they need to communicate they know they've been very private maybe secretive more like on the private side reserved so they definitely know they need to open up more and you know tell you everything king of pentacles in reverse definitely they could be divorced and maybe they haven't even told you that the divorce is final or that all their issues they're having is stemming from maybe a divorce so maybe all this they really know they need to tell you with this high priestess in reverse knight of swords this is like charging in quickly huh taking action very quickly here and the ace of wands so they're excited for the opportunity here and they're going to take action but again there's something here about um one last final thing that needs to be resolved or taken care of or let go or something it could be their own energies within or something around them but they're excited to take action on this and come in for this um fiery new beginning here if you've never been intimate with this person, that's something they're definitely looking forward to. I'm just saying. Let's see. We have Aquarius, um, Virgo. We definitely could some be by Virgo end of Virgo season, which is not that far away, like a week. Pisces, that's you right here. Six of Cups. So they are wanting to return here. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely could have been married. Or another thing about the long-term commitment with you. Definitely here, too, with the Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. And the Ace of Cups. So they're still wondering... Wow, and the Two of Cups. Could there be a chance I retracted my energy out of fear or whatever I was going through or unhappy time here with the Nine of Cups reversed? Um, and I'm still hoping that there's, you know, still hope for this connection. And look, the Four and the Two is the Six of Cups, which we have right here. That's just crazy. And the Ace of Cups, the new beginning in love. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, very committed, dedicated kind of energy. We do have the King, Queen of Pentacles. One's reverse, one's upright. So there definitely needs to be communication of getting on the same page. And they know that as well. Wow, so there's a return right there, Pisces. It could be children involved for some. All right, so let's see. If this did resonate, Pisces, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. Again, everything you need is below. Now, again, a lot of you, if you're like, I want nothing to do with that person, blah, 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 blah. Simply not your reading. Leave it for somebody else. And those that does resonate, um, thank you. Thank you for sticking around. All right, Pisces. So let's see their love messages for you. For Pisces. Spend some quality time together. It's important that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. 4610, endings and new beginnings. Love who you are. Eight. Eight is infinity. Travel, action, communication, putting in the work. You are a divine and wonderful person, deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. Oh my God, that thunder scared me. I was just doing, I think, cancer. And a big clash of thunder, and I think I felt my soul left, leave my body. That almost happened here. <laughs> oh my God, big clap of thunder. Anyway, love who you are. So they're telling you, you know, never change who you are. And they're learning to love themselves more as well. And they definitely want to spend time with you. They love being with you, and they can't wait to be with you again. 
spiritual connection. We have 27, which is 9, endings and new beginnings. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So you definitely could have a past life connection. I felt that with Soul Tree. So if you're feeling that as well, that's a kind of confirmation. And they could be feeling the connection with you even if you're not physically together. Physical touch. Oh my God. Physical touch is important. So... Yeah, I feel like you've never been like really, really intimate with this person in any way. And it's like you have that spiritual connection. They're definitely more enlightened, but they can't really, they can't wait to be like physically with you. And not just, you know, in that way, like to be able to touch you and hug you and kiss you and hold your hand and, you know, be physical too. But we have 47, which is 11, life path, soul path energy. It's also new beginnings. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might be include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. Wow. Taking spiritual into physical. Spending time together. Wow. Okay. So let's see. And Six of Cups can indicate past life as well. Saying, consider your foundation. And we have 50, which is 5, which is change. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. So that's about, you know, them wanting to uh, commit to this love and looking at the foundation. And also, you know, they had big changes in their foundation, in their commitments. And that, that's a big thing for them, I feel. Like they're someone very, you know, when they make a commitment and they sign a contract, they stick to it, whatever it may be. And when it breaks, you know, there's no other option. That really affects them because I think they, they believe in morals, traditions, and values. Now, if you're like, no way, this is not your reading. Just, you know, move on. Leave it for somebody else who it resonates for. I would appreciate that. Anyway, Pisces, thank you for sticking around. Uh, hopefully that resonates. I'm wishing you the best. Again, everything you need is below. And I shall see you next time.